Hey guys, it's Xavier Kelly, and in today's video, um, we're going to walk you through how to force SSL on your WordPress site or your other uh, any site you possibly have through the HT access file. Um, and basically, one easy way is pretty easy to do. And guys, if you haven't already, make sure you guys head over to my channel and subscribe. I would love to have you over here. Like this video as well so um, this can help more people. And guys, get straight into it. First you want to do, you want to log into your FTP client or wherever you're hosting your code at. I'm using WinZip, you can use two as well. And then you want to go in there um, and go to the AC, HD access file. And then from there, um, I have a little piece of code. Uh, actually, you know, let me check this out. But I have a, basically a piece of code here for you guys to do. And basically, this is the site right here that um, we're going to do. As you see right here, if you, if you go to, let me save this right here. As you guys see right now, if you go to here right now, um, if, you, if you try to go to just www.xaverkelly.com, um, you're allowed to. Um, if you're trying to force this on a, um, basically on one specific page, like a checkout page or across your whole site, this is the way to do it. Um, this is more specifically for everywhere, kind of like a wild card, but this is what you go through. Um, so we go through. Let's go ahead and enter in. And make sure you be very careful on this file and take a backup before you begin. So just add in a comment, which the way you do a comment X and HT access file is just a hashtag. Um, so we're gonna do well spell that wrong. We're gonna begin um force SSL. And then underneath that, um, I'm gonna put this down in the description as well for you guys to copy. But well, basically we're gonna do rewrite rewrite engine on which allows us to basically edit the actual CSX file and actually change how things work on here and then this next one's condition is that if we meet this condition of anything that passes through the Xavier Kelly or WDX Xavier Kelly um, that's the first one and then anything that's going over port 80 which is that what SSL goes over and then we're going to rewrite it to basically go through and whatever domain it has but put the HTTP, HTTPS access so let's go ahead and copy this right here so all you need to do is copy this portion. Um, well, let's go back. So all we need to do is go through and copy the Xavier Kelly, WD, WD Xavier Kelly. Um, we don't have to copy the dot. And then make sure you put yours on the other side of this. Do not, um, you need that on there. So make sure you guys don't don't remove this. This is to split it up. So um, this is just the way it, re it reads. And this carrot is for anything in front of it. So then we go through in there. And then we move this over. And then from there, all we do now is that um, we do the same thing down here. And then make sure you guys have a, a copy of this right here. Um, Cause this would be a quick way for you guys to go through and get the white screen of death. And then from there, all you have to do is just save it. And then we can come back over here and test it. If we once we try to refresh this page, it will be forced to through the HTTP access. SF. You see? And now, anytime we go to this page at all, it forces us here. And let's try. Um, I don't. And then, if you guys can see, even if you take off the this portion right here and just went through just the domain, it does the same thing. And guys, that's how you force SSL um, through the HT access file. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. I'm gonna link this code down below. As I said, but guys, before, if you are not used to this right here, make sure, um, use, using the HT access files, you go through and then you um, keep a backup of this. And also to WordPress as well, um, has a, a version of this too if you wanna use it. And it's pretty easy to download. Um, but make sure you guys go through and do that so that you don't get the white screen of death for too long. And if you do, you can just re-upload the regular one, the original one, and it'll work perfectly fine. Um, one thing you might have to do is go through and just rename this to HD Access One, and then create a new one called HD Access with the your code from before. But other than that, guys, if you um, haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like this video, share this with someone else who's trying to um, go through and force SSL through HD Access. It's pretty simple. You don't really need to, um, you know, it's not much to really go through. It's really simple as you guys can see. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Xavier Kelly, and I'll see you in the next one.